Hi and welcome to uh, learning to model a simple person in Blender 2.5. We're going to find that Blender 2.5 is a little bit different to using 249 so that's why I've created this guide instead of using the online PDF manual. Okay so this is probably one of your first times using Blender. As we look around the scene I'm just holding down my middle mouse button to pan around and we can see that there are three main features within the window. There's this triangular feature that's close to me here and this is what we call the camera which is used to take renders or photographs of our scene. We can see over here there's a light. Um, it's symbolized by this sun type shape with a dotted line around it and also we can see in here in the new file there's a cube object which is always the first thing that appears in the default scene. One last thing here we can see that there's also a grid on the floor of this world and this is intended to indicate the horizon line for the render. It's only a guide and doesn't render inside the render at all. Okay, so let's get going. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn this cube from a hard-edged object um, into a smoother shaped object by applying a subsurf. A subsurf is a modifier that we can access through this panel over here and the modifiers panel is this little spanner here. So I'm just going to click on the spanner and I'm going to add a modifier to this object. You'll notice that over here you can see that the object is highlighted. It's got a light yellow line around it. Okay, so I'm going to click on add modifier over here and I'm com going to come down the left hand column and select subdivision surface. Okay, that's good. So we can see what happened is that it went from being a hard cube to a, um, a fractured um, spherical object there. That's the view controls what resolution that we see the ball at. So I'm going to turn that up to about 3 on both settings. The first one, the view, is what we see within this window when we're working on an object and the render number is how high quality the render will look at the end. I'm going to turn maybe render up to 4. Don't go above 4 on any of the settings or it'll grind your processor to a halt and um, yeah, you may crash the program. So look at keeping your settings around 3 or 4 for the moment until you're used to the settings. Okay, so we can see within this scene at the moment that we've got a simple ball think of that as a starting piece of clay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into edit mode. Edit mode allows us to change the shape and the size of objects and also um, add more geometry mesh to them. So I'm going to come down here to the left hand side where I can see it says object mode. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to bring up edit mode. So edit mode is what we're after. Okay, that's good. Now we can see once we go into edit mode, we can click on the corners, and I'm using a right click. Blender always uses a right click for selection. It takes a bit of time to get used to. And when I select a vertice in this instance, I can push and I can pull it by the handles, and the handles always go in one direction, just like in SketchUp that we looked at earlier, that always likes to drag objects along its colored axes. Okay, I'm just going to use my Apple Z to undo, and we've got about 40 levels of undo set as standard within this application. But what I want to do to do my model is I don't want to select vertices, I actually want to select the faces and the faces are the large panels that are created by four vertices. So in the case of this top panel we can see if I select four vertices it also lights up this panel in between and this panel we call a face. Okay so I'm going to go to face select mode. I'm just going to deselect everything. I always use A as my selector so I like to think of A as all or nothing and okay so I've deselected and now I went down here and I selected, you can see here this is face select mode, so I'm going to select this one and I'm just going to select this top panel now. Whoops, I didn't mean to move it. Um, okay, so I've just got my top panel selected and now I'm going to start to extrude my object up. So I'm going to hit E for extrude and we can see that it gives us an axis that it's going straight up and then as I start to push it, I hold down control 
and I let it snap up two snaps so it's exactly a cube now on top of a cube and it's sort of like the shape of a tablet okay so I'm going to go E again I'm going to control it up and go up another step that's good and I'm going to go E up again and I'm going to go up that's good okay so this fo forms the leg of our person and I'm just going to extrude across now this is now the hips I'm going to go E extrude again that's good I'm going to select this face on the bottom here I'm going to extrude it down that's good I'm going to extrude again so just E holding down control afterwards extrude I've just got to pull